So now that we have the basic code of a Flask application, we need to create what's called routes. But what are routes? Routes are just links or URLs that would let users access our web application. So whenever I say root, I mean I mean a link and I also mean a URL. Let me give you an example, a real example. So if you head on over to my web uh, my website commoncode.com, you'll find that this is my main page, commoncode.com. So whenever somebody goes to uh, commoncode.com, he or she will be able to see this main page. But what if I want the user to go to a specific page? For example, the contact page. What should they do in order to go th to this contact page? Obviously, they need a kind of another URL. They need to add something here to this URL, to the main URL, in order to go to uh, the contact page. So the route for the contact page is in my website is forward slash and then contact, contact. Now if you hit enter, guess what? It's gonna take you to the contact page where you will be able to uh, check out the contact page. So this is what this is the meaning of a root. A root is kind of a, um, a URL that would let you access a specific page in, a, in your web application. And for example, if you want to uh, check the freebies, if you want to go to the freebies uh, URL, if you click on it, guess what? It's gonna here go to the uh, to the freebies uh, URL or root, and it's gonna here display the freebies uh, page. And by the way, I'd highly recommend downloading uh, this free ebook that I have created. It's a PDF uh, ebook that will uh, help you learn how to become a professional freelance programmer, and uh, it has a lot of in important information if you are serious about becoming a professional freelance uh, developer. So this is the meaning uh, this is the meaning of a root. Therefore in our uh, application we need to create roots. Of course we need to create a the first root which is going to let let uh, the user uh, access the main page. So how can we create a root in Flask? Well it's very very simple. You need here to say at and then app and then dot and then root. And then inside that root, inside that root function, you need to specify the name of that root. So the main root is always uh, and does always have the forward slash um, forward slash root, just forward slash. Because if you go again, uh, let me uh, show you the example. Again, back to my website. If you go to my website and just add forward slash at the end and hit enter, guess what? It's going to take you to the main page again one more time. It's going to take you to the main page because the main uh, root is just forward slash. So this is how you can create your main root. So this is the main root or URL. And then once you have created the main root, you need a function because this is, in, this is incomplete. Because once the user goes to a, a URL, we want to do something. We want to display a page. Therefore, we need here a function, def, and then the name of the function, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna, uh, name, I'm gonna name it main, main, and then, and then uh, you can do whatever you want. Of course, in, back to my example, of course, in, my, in, in this example, I just returned the main page. In, in Flask here, in, uh, in uh, my project, for now, I'm gonna just return a simple simple string just to show you that it's working. So here if I say return and then I'm gonna say my flask application, my flask web app, web app. So again whenever the, whenever the user goes to the forward slash URL, the main URL, what's gonna happen is that this function, this main function is gonna be executed and it's gonna return, it's gonna return my flask web application string. Let's now save my project and then let me run our uh, project. So how can I run my project? Well to run your project you need to open up your terminal that comes with Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna open here, I'm gonna click here on view and then terminal and then this is gonna open up the built-in terminal in your Visual Studio Code and I find it much easier to use this uh, built-in terminal because you don't have to go back and forth between your uh, Visual Studio Code and your 
uh, external terminal, the terminal that comes with your operating system. So here I'm going to type, in order to run your uh, Python or Flask application, you need to type here Python 3 and then the name of the file index index.py and then hit enter and this is going to start uh, this is going to deploy our application on the local server and as you can see here it says running on uh, 127.0.0.1 and then 5000 which is the port so what you need to do is that you need to copy this URL and then you need to head on over to your um, browser I'm obviously using Google Chrome so I'm gonna open I'm gonna copy this and paste it in Google Chrome so as you can see if you hit enter if you paste it and hit enter guess what you are gonna access the main uh, root which the main page which says here my flask web application so it worked now whenever your user goes to the main the main uh, URL and hits enter what's gonna happen is that it's gonna return my flask web application to to uh, to that user.